To say volleyball runs in the Bartolo family would be an understatement. My mom played in college at CSU and all of my older sisters played of the three above me. So it was just, it was something that was always around. I was always in a gym and it's just something that I've grown with, grown up with and totally love. So when Gianna's time arrived at State Power Lewis Palmer, she knew she had big shoes to fill. I think this school just in itself and the volleyball program has just a different tradition of their expectations. So they, they, we always talk at LP, it's class. And so coming in as a freshman, you learn that pretty quickly that we expect your hardest work on the floor. We expect you to treat others well. And so I think that's just gonna continue and you have the motivation of so many titles behind you. So that definitely pushes you along too. She entered her freshman year to a well-oiled machine, but she learned and eventually became a school record holder on her way to earning four straight titles. That year it was just so special because I was just so young and I had no idea really what was going on and I was just walking behind my older sister and just kind of like learning the ropes for her. So it was just, it was brand new, it was super sweet to win it for the senior class who had lost the year before. But this year is just proving everyone wrong and a lot of people didn't have like high expectations for us at the, at the beginning of the year and all of that hard work paid off at the end so it was just really surreal. This wasn't a usual LP season where the Rangers were the favorites all year. In fact, their eight losses this season were more than the program has had in the last six years combined. Definitely, we graduated so many girls that had come up and played varsity three or four years, and so these girls didn't have a ton of experience, but they definitely had the determination, and they wanted to learn. Every single day they would come in and we would make adjustments. They would always be asking if they could do things differently, so what they didn't have an experience, they made up with hard work. But it ended in a similar fashion with the Rangers in their eighth straight state final. Now Gianna's focus moves towards the future at the University of Denver, where she will once again team up with her older sister, Lydia. I'm so excited to play with my sister again. That's going to be so great. I do just have more of a sense of like the game of volleyball and how to be a better teammate. If history is any indication, the Summit League better watch out for the Bartolo sisters next year. In Monument, for Colorado Press Spotlight, I'm Jason Carter.